Hi guys, for the last few days I've been out exploring Oregon, Washington, looking for mud, snow, rock, sand, clay, you name it. I'm here to put these Toyo Open Country AT3s to the test. I want to see if they'd be a good fit for me and a good fit for you. Here's what I've discovered. As you can see, I'm driving on some soft sand. It's not too aggressive, nothing like the beach.
KO2s to these Toyo Open Country AT3s. I loved my KO2s, but I did this for a variety of reasons. One of them was weight. Each tire is six pounds lighter than the KO2s were. As someone who loves to travel from state to state, putting on lots of miles, I wanted something that would give me better fuel economy while not compromising my off-road capabilities. Mud and clay. For mud and clay, I'd give these tires a seven out of a 10. They're not a mud terrain, so you're not gonna be trekking through some big mud pits, but they will get the job done when you're on the trail. What I mean by this is, I tried to take my Subaru Forester up a steep slope with clay that was fairly wet. Without a torque locker, I was unable to do this. You may find yourself in the same position if you don't have lockers. Snow and ice. My vehicle is a bit shorter than most 4x4 off-road vehicles, so I am limited by my height. That being said, I did find snow that was between 5 and 7 inches, and these tires did really well. I felt like I was gliding right through the snow. Rain. So, highway driving. You guys are probably wondering, how do these tires hold up when you're driving on the highway and it's pouring rain? In the valley, it dumped on me. And I will say, going 55 to 60 miles an hour highway speeds, these tires handled incredibly well. Are these tires quiet? I'm going to say yes. 8 out of 10, quietness. They're not going to be quiet than your standard all seasons, but they're definitely way quieter than my KO2s or, or mud train would be. They handle well on the road. They corner well on the road. Overall, they're a great dry pavement tire. Rocks. We all hate that hissing sound when we slice a tire. So I wanted to make sure that I put these Toyo Open Country AT3s to the test. I am not out there rock crawling like some of you Jeeps, but I am out there hitting large river rocks, cinder, loose gravel, lava rocks, sharp central Oregon rocks, you name it. I wanted to make sure that I could confidently go out into the middle of the desert get me from point A to point B and back home without these tires slicing. That to me is the most important thing in a tire. I can confidently recommend these tires to anyone who is looking for a tire that is tough and will not slice on the sidewall. Sand. As we know, sand can vary from place to place. The sand I encountered was fairly light. I had good grip. I was aired down to about 18 PSI. Overall, these tires did fairly well. That being said, I did not get the chance to test my tires at a place like the Oregon Dunes, where sometimes the sand can be very dry and very loose. That being said, overall, I think these tires do well in the sand, but I would be interested in doing another review strictly based off of sand at the dunes, because that place can get crazy. Thanks again guys for joining in, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. We'll see you next time.